So in 2009, we made the big mistake of test driving this Tesla Roadster in Seattle, Washington. And from the moment that I got behind the wheel of the car and put my foot on the accelerator, that instant torque and acceleration, I couldn't think of anything other than that. I would come home and I'd talk to Rhonda and tell her about it. Did you, know, did you hear this about Tesla? Did you know that, about this about Tesla? And so finally one day Rhonda said to me, All right, <laughs> just go and get the car. <laughs> so it worked out well. I drive an EV for a whole lot of reasons. Uh, one, because I love technology. Two, uh, I believe in environmental stewardship. I think the most exciting thing about owning an EV for me is the technology and the acceleration. This car that I'm sitting in does 0 to 60 in 3.2 seconds and it's a sport utility vehicle. The least exciting thing is I can no longer get excited about what I pay for my fuel. I pay the same boring electricity rate every night that I plug in my car. This car has about 120,000 kilometers on the car and we've only ever spent uh, about $2,000 on a replacement set of summer tires. And the reason for that is when you have a car that goes really fast, you kind of burn through rubber a lot quicker than the average car. On a regular basis, charging costs about $6 to fill up. This is our um, high power wall charger for the Tesla Model X. We can recharge the car in less than four hours from empty to full. Uh, the, this car has about a 400 kilometer range. It's a 90 kilowatt hour battery. We take this car every weekend, pretty much, to the mountains. In the winter time, all season long, in the summer, it doesn't matter what time of year, we go everywhere with this car. We drove it all the way to California. We put about 8,000 kilometers on a return trip. Generally, on average, I would say, um, the average winter day or te temperature, it's about 20% uh, range degradation. However, with that said, when you have a large battery, it really is irrelevant for your daily, uh, your daily commutes. So level three chargers are, are, are fast chargers and uh, their network of chargers is uh, called the Peak to Prairie. ATCO's doing an amazing job in terms of the leadership and building out uh, a, a, a network of electric vehicle chargers for, in, across Alberta. It'll charge the battery on this car from zero to 80% in, in about 30 minutes. When I first got my first electric car about eight or nine years ago, there were very few ch electric vehicle charging stations. And what I tell people now is that owning an electric vehicle from a charging station perspective, it's like a bottle of fine wine. It just gets better over time.